This is Blackrock Depths Detention Block as Mr. Weaver Monk. I'm not an expert at this game, this is not a dungeon guide, this represents my personal experience with a random dungeon group. So Blackrock Depths, enormous dungeon, possibly the largest one in Classic, um, got split up into two pieces, um, but those two uh, chunks don't really cover the entire thing. If you do a full clear of this, it takes a really long time, but it is a spectacular dungeon. This is one of my favorites. And I think it's a real shame that you don't really see it in its full form with the current um, way that dungeons are run in this game. I mean, you could form your own group and not use the dungeon finder for it, or dungeon groups could go ahead and uh, do a full clear beyond just, like, what the goal is. So yeah, detention block over there on the right. Uh, Lord Incendius and Phineas Darkvire are the only two designated targets for uh, for the swing of it. There's also Upper City, which I'll be doing later, um, which just takes you through a different portion of this. But yeah, it is quite a place. Um, a lot of people who come here aren't really sure <laughs> how to navigate it. Uh, I spent a fair bit of time on my own just getting to know the layout of it and, you know, it's very complicated, interconnected, lots of, uh, lots of things going on. Very confusing if you don't know where to go. This warrior definitely does not. <laughs> I didn't at this point either. Uh, fortunately there are maps, so you can see Lord Incendius over there with the one on his portrait. Um, not this way, but I guess we're going this way. Or maybe not. Nope, you want to turn left, not right. You can turn right. But, oh wait, no, are you, uh, we weren't where I thought we were. Yeah, it's a confusing place. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so not much has happened since Alderman. Uh, action bar looks pretty much the same. Uh, no new abilities that I'm seeing here. That was some damage on that mage. Gotta be careful. Okay, right, yeah, so, um, annoying dudes here. The Anvil Rage officers, I think they are, um, are one of them. Really, really love to interrupt casters. And as a monk, I kind of want to be standing in close when I'm... Oh, also, he's a paladin and uses a divine shield on himself. Uh, yeah, annoying as a monk because I really want to stand in close when I'm healing so that I can switch between casting and melee attacks, but... This dungeon was not built with monks in mind because they wouldn't exist for several more expansions. I don't know if it was even thought that this game would get expansions when this was first built. But yeah, so certain mechanics like that. I mean, you know, I can just stand back to avoid being interrupted or not doing it, do anything that involves a cast bar. Or just deal with it because, you know, you don't take that much damage really. Except suddenly, damage is happening. Gotta be careful. <laughs> I was wor <laughs> Like, four seconds ago, before I got nature locked, I had been worried enough that I wanted to put up a, uh... A, um... What's that thing called? Life Cocoon. <laughs> Still had that thought in my mind once... I had, uh, recovered from my silence and, uh... And the warrior had been healed mostly to full. <laughs> So that was really unnecessary there, but I did it anyway. Back at this level, I wasn't really feeling the cost of Essence Font. I don't know if it gets more expensive relative to everything else as things go on, or if, you know, you just don't notice because you're not using mana as much. So back in these days, I just kind of used it whenever it was off cooldown and, you know, more than two people uh, needed at least some healing. I need to get closer. Yeah, stand in close and that just keeps happening. A little scary when his health is that low. He didn't quite manage to get into the red. 
He does know how to use his, um... Absorption stuff. Ignore pain, I think, is the ability that's in play there. Uh, skimming ahead in my footage, I see that I think this is the dungeon where I learn about that. Like, which warrior ability causes it to look like he has a shield. So we'll see that in a moment. Huh, I'm just now noticing that uh, High Mountain Tauren, which is what this warrior is, uh, have different voice clips than regular Tauren. I don't know what you call the, the normal ones. They probably have a name. Uh, High Mountain Tauren is one of uh, currently four, soon to be five, um, allied races that you have to unlock by doing some special requirements. Can't create one until a bunch of stuff has been done in another character first. I'm working on that stuff now. Might take me a bit. Relic Coffer Key. Yeah, that's a thing. Okay, so let's see. Those quests over on the right. The 109th Division uh, doesn't involve either of the bosses we're targeting here. The Heart of the Mountain um, involves the Relic Coffer Keys and, like, basically doing not necessarily a full clear of the dungeon, but, like, a lot of it more than a dungeon finder group would typically ever do. So I suspect almost every player who comes through here and does this dungeon through the dungeon finder is just going to end up with that quest like as an extra thing in their quest log and either never get it done or come back later solo to do it or, I don't know, not pick it up in the first place. Bunch of fire damage going on here. I see two stacks of some debuff on me. I don't see it on anyone else. I'm assuming that means it is not... Okay, it is on you when I target you specifically. So it's not something that is a magic disease or poison. So not something I can uh, dispel. Hey, look a ring. I decided not to put it on right now. Alright, so that's one dude. Hold on, that wasn't Lord Incendius? Oh, that was somebody else. Which one is Lord Incendius? Oh, he's that one. Okay. I had mixed up my bosses. Okay, so this wasn't the way to go at all. That was completely optional. <laughs> but then again, like, if you want to kill that boss, you know, now's the time. So there's a big giant door right in front of where I'm looking now. Uh, if you go through that door... It takes you to one part of the dungeon, then there's this other locking mechanism um, that blocks off part of the upper city. You have to actually close the door in order to go through a passage up above. Uh, in a way that's like real complicated and would probably just kind of be a nightmare for this kind of dungeon group. Random people, varying levels of experience not really in the right environment with four strangers there to be figuring out subtle navigation puzzles like that. So in some way, I guess it's better that you don't see the full dungeon in, you know, this, but <laughs> sure would be nice to have it in some form, somehow. Oh, also there's a Death Knight with me here. Uh, so I'm, I'm at the level where we start getting, start seeing Death Knights. Uh, they start at level 55. I don't think they can queue for dungeons until 58, unless that's changed. Because you have to complete a bunch of intro quests first, and those always give you three levels. That's what I remember, at least. Gonna be a while yet before we see any Demon Hunters, the other hero class. They start at... Is it 98? I forget. A higher level than Death Knights do. Allied races all start at level 20, apparently. So we're going through the big door. Where's this lead exactly? Yeah, this looks like where you'd fight somebody named Lord Incendius. Interesting, he's through here. Maybe. Unless we're still going the wrong way.
As much as I spent some time around here to know the, uh, know the layout, I don't have the location and name of every boss memorized. Is that the dude right up there? The slightly larger fire elemental? I think that's him. Where's the rest of my party? They're off fighting a different blazing fire guard and just ignoring what the tank is doing. Okay, well, Rogue decided to tank <laughs> and got away with it. That one I could dispel. So at the very beginning of this dungeon, I was a little bit worried about um, this player because, like, it's fine to come to a dungeon and not necessarily know the route to it, even as a tank, but... Um, I don't know. Um, asking straight away in the specific way that he did, I don't know, just makes me a little bit uneasy. More times than not, when I see that, there are other things to worry about with that player as well. But this guy was fine. Um, there was that spot just a moment ago when, you know, he was focusing on one enemy, everybody else happened to be somewhere else and he just didn't notice, but that's, you know, anybody could make that mistake. You can't pay 100% attention 100% of the time. So yeah, this guy was fine. Um, sometimes it takes a little while to feel out the group and see what their, what their skill level is. Ace of Elementals. That has something to do with Darkmoon Fair, I think. I have a couple mismatched cards of that set. I've never come anywhere close to completing a deck. They've always been kind of a mystery to me. Mostly they just take up space in my bank. Let's see... Phineas Darkvire I think is like... Is he the one in this hallway who is doing the stuff with these golems here? Or is that somebody else? Guess we'll find out in a moment. Yeah, that's him. Phineas Darkvire. Right there. So if you want to just do the detention block, like just the minimum uh, amount that's specified here, you could skip the whatever his name was, big fiery rock dude to the left. Just go through the go through the prison gate or whatever. Turn right, kill Lord Incendius, kill Phineas Darkvire, and then you're done. So I got my my random dungeon reward and stuff. Uh, I do not. Have yeah, so this one can be super short, if you want it to be. So we finished this, but I think this group decides that they want to keep going and kill a few more, especially since we have uh, quests for things. So everybody's running back to turn in the quests that they have. That number seven ability up in that action bar that has my, uh, where I was a moment ago, uh, that's a taunt. So even when I'm not, um, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> this person has no idea what we're doing. <laughs> Q. 
keep to 100. I'm not sure what combination of slang and typo or what that is. <laughs> I don't understand your words. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so uh, even as a Mistweaver, I do get a taunt ability. I never want to press that button, pretty much. Um, at least not when I'm playing in a group like this. That's something you only want to use when you are in the tank role. But I still have access to it, just because I play a class that can be a tank. Hmm. Interesting. And this game gets really uh, pushy if you have an action that's not assigned somewhere to your action bar. There's a problem, problem that it will cause me later. I'm waiting for it to happen. I'm not sure when it does, but yeah. It, uh... It's gotten more pushy over time about that. So yeah, if you come in the dungeon entrance and just go straight ahead, this is what you see. This big room with a whole bunch of stuff in it. I am out of range. Let's kill these other four bosses. Um, I wonder if you're looking at your map and just seeing the first floor ones that are marked there. And maybe assuming that's the whole dungeon or the whole part you can reach. I don't know. Because there are two we have in quests to kill. I'm not sure where other four comes from. Okay, High Interrogator Gestan. There's also the Ring of the Law down here, and Houndmaster, what's his name? Uh, is there one more on this floor? Not that I remember, but I'm probably forgetting one. Hold on, the 109th Division, General Angerforge and Gullum Lord Argomach, those are in Upper City, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we're going to be getting to those. So I guess you just pick up all the quests at the beginning, even if they are for Upper City. Man, yeah, so the uh, the convergen uh, uh, conversion of this to Two Wings and the Dungeon Finder didn't really go perfectly. The quests are kind of a mess now. I need to get this. So this doesn't go on for too much longer. Um, I think we get like this one quest done, then everybody in the group just kind of decides they're done with this. I do remember like five or six years ago, no longer than that, whenever it was that I last played this, uh, there was a time when I just queued into a random dungeon group and everybody was totally up for a full clear. Nobody said anything about it. I was just coming along. It's like, oh, hey, we're doing a full clear? Okay, cool. Because <laughs> this is a cool dungeon and I like playing it. Hi, inter Interrogator Gestan. There she is. She fears. Watch out for that. The main danger of fear is that you run into the path of additional enemies and get their attention. Suddenly, like, a fight against three becomes a fight against six or a fight against nine or more if you're uh, positioned badly enough and get a whole pack of things that are going to lay on the hurts. So yeah, if you're fighting somebody who fears and there's nothing you can do about it, then you want to do it far away from any place you can get into additional trouble. Other danger is just that, whoa, that's a lot of damage. Uh, that you lose control of yourself and um, can still take damage, but your healer can't do anything about it. See, except I dodged that fear somehow. I'm seeing Shadow Word Pain, 
So I think she probably has basically priest mechanics. So Shadow Word Pain would be her uh, damage over time debuff. So then Psychic Scream would be the one that causes the fear. So that has a short range close to where she is, I believe. If I'm remembering my priest well enough. Haven't played one in a very long time. Hey, check it out. My scanning reached 300. Isn't that nice? Alright, so that one's done, and at this point, everybody decides, eh, that's good enough. Let's just leave the dungeon. <laughs> Nobody really says anything about it. They just, they've had enough. Lord Rockor, right, he's in there. Okay, so that would be the, the fourth in the other four. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, and that's as much of uh, Black Ark Death as we did. <laughs> See you next time.